That's a real one. That ain't no cuda. Oh yeah, wide open mouth. Leader in them? Yeah. Hell yes! Ready? Yeah! Oh, it's a giant! Full <laughs> It's a real one! So Mike has busted down this Wahoo now. Please explain why do you cut it down the middle? I feel like it just, you know, it's, it's still too thick no matter where. You're going to have to cut it in half anyway, so might as well cut it in half while it's on the fish. So just like a tuna, the thicker flies, it's easier if you cut yeah. it. Makes it easier to break down. You guys no noticed he the handle. He didn't miss any meat on this Wahoo. He cut it down the uh, bloodline right here first, and that way you can kind of flay from both sides. You put from the dorsal side and then the belly side right there. Dude, the fillets look so good. Stay tuned for that catch and cook. You guys, this is a fit. How, this fish has been in our cooler for two, three days now. This is gonna make some, for some fire sashimi. You guys have yet to see really good sushi on this channel, and yet, a Wahoo catch and cook, but guess what? We're cooking them all on this channel, so stay tuned. One thing me and Mike talked about, Wahoo are literally one of the sickest looking fish. When you guys first when they're fresh. Them, when they're fresh, but when they're dead, look at how they just look so discolored. They look bad, they look spoils. They're bruised and they just lose all their color and they do not look very appetizing when they're dead. But they are definitely, Looks they're one, be deceiving. Yeah, they're one of those fish where um, aside from tuna, you can't eat very many fish sashimi grade, or most people don't at least, but Wahoo is one of those fish where you eat sashimi. That's one of the main staples to eat Wahoo, and that's what we're going to do with this guy tomorrow. We're going to have a good sushi night with a bunch of good people. Look at that loin. Just so firm. Buy a bubble blade, they said. Don't no ever work. buy a bubble blade. Well, this is why you don't buy a $50 bubble blade, because they're garbage. Just snap. Get yourself a $20 Dexter. This thing, just snapped in half. It's not even rusty. I didn't even do it. It's stupid. It snapped in half. Look at how thick of a blade it has, too. So just like I said, guys, instead of buying a $50 bubble blade right there, which is broken, get yourself a $20 Dexter or any other knife of your choice. You get a $5 stone off Amazon. Link will be in the description. You guys sharpen your knife over and over again. November, we're sending it. Roger's already got the Bimini dates for November set. We're going back for the Wahoo mission. We had no idea what we were doing in terms of Wahoo fishing. We just went over there, heard about the high speed thing, and we did it. We did it for ourselves. No charter needed. Had a little background knowledge. And guess what? Let's go your YouTube boys pulled videos. through with two nice Wahoo. And it's early in the season. They're not supposed to get them this right now. No, we're supposed to get them in November. Look at those fillets. That top notch fillet. This is gonna make for some really good sashimi and sushi tomorrow. Brooke's about to eat an ounce. Throw it in the bag. There's the big boy. There's the bigger one. This one's probably 45, 50 pounds. It's full. Ooh, open that bad boy up. I wanna see. Oh. Look, he oh, cut yeah, it in half. Right. It's a skip jack. He cut it in half and came back for the rest. Skipjack. What the hell? What is this thing? Oh, I won't play with it. Be separate thing. I don't know, but it's really cool how these guys have such sharp teeth, and that's what they do. They come up that's to it. That's what he tried to do to our lure. Well, he comes up, he slices it in half right there, eats the head half or whatever, then eats the tail half. All right, guys, we are in the kitchen now. It is time to do some hurricane prep. By <laughs> hurricane prep, I mean we're about to have a fire sushi night hell yeah. featuring. <laughs> The one and only Michael Cashman. Now they got started way before me, but look at this. Just so you guys don't tune out of this video, you know that we're serious. Check that out right there. A Wahoo Rose. Straight meat. Hashtag so we're gonna be doing meat. a bunch of different stuff. This is Carly, this is Mike's girlfriend. Say hi. Hi. And she is cutting up some Wahoo into little chunks. Wahoo oh, we're poke. making Wahoo poke? Yep. Okay, so she's cutting up into little chunks. You guys got some little yeah. scallions cut up right there. Mike, come tell the people of YouTube what you got going on here. There's a little black sesame, regular 
to roasted sesame seeds and a little bit of some seafood magic in there. Not too much, just a little touch. I'm gonna sear this guy up. You can't have sushi night without eel sauce. And here's some store-bought bottle of eel sauce, but I wanna try to make my own. And all it is, I did a little research, three ingredients, sugar, mirin, and soy sauce. Now we're gonna make some homemade spicy mayo. This guy is sriracha, and then I got half a cup of mayonnaise in here. What's she doing? <laughs> I'm slicing up avocado to go inside of our sushi rolls. And by the way, this video is gonna be all over the place because we have four, five people doing different things at once. Mike is cutting up the guava into long strips to put in our rolls, as we're gonna show you guys how exactly we do that fish. So Carly is about to show you guys how she makes her poke. Uh, okay, so we chopped up the wahoo in little tiny squares, and then we got some very fine chopped up scallions. We put the scallions right over top of the wahoo, and then you take the sriracha. The hot cock! <laughs> Carly just put in some soy sauce and Mike is adding a little bit of black sesame seeds. And then finish it off with a little bit of sesame oil. Good. Perfect. A little dab of sriracha on each wahoo sashimi. And there's a little piece of cilantro leaf on every single one as well. Is this jalapeno? Yep. Or not, because it'll be at the end anyways. The presentation is everything in cooking. If you can make something look good, someone already thinks it tastes good. Yep. 100%. Pat it down. Yeah? Like it's not good enough? So spicy wahoo roll. Just try to like smush it a little. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, what else am I putting in here? What you doing, Bert? Well, I am making a roll. I'm gonna put a little spicy mayonnaise in here. Are you going to show us how it's done? Yeah, you know, I got the magic hands. Look at that, burrito. This works so, so much freaking better. Keep dipping the tip of the knife in the water. It works even better. I think that's the hardest thing anytime Brick and I have ever made sushi. It's been the actual cutting part, hasn't it, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, right, right. You put Wait, some plastic now. saran wrap on top. Yeah. You yeah. always got to keep your knife wet. The wetter your knife is, the better. Yeah. Wow. Those look good, babe. Real deal. What is this? Some custom chopsticks. No way. Bought these from a California trip, sent them to me. Check it out, they say send it right on it. Thai Sushi's the guy, people who make them, titanium chopsticks. Those are badass. Yep, they're light. They come with a little nice package. I'm so much better at doing this, just knowing that you have to keep everything wet. Oh. Your fingers wet, the knife wet, and then that cling on top, just like those little tips. Helps so much. Watch YouTube, you learn how to do anything. I wanted to learn how to make some good sushi rolls. I looked up some master Japanese sushi chefs, and the videos don't lie. And now you just specifically have to watch Land Shark Fishing. <laughs> now you guys want to learn how to make sushi, you watch this channel. All right, guys, we're going to do a little taste test of the homemade eel sauce I made. Oh, no. Brooke gives it a thumbs up. Out. We're going to go with like the homemade the eel sauce package. instead of the store bought. Trying to get it tight. Oh my glue ah, I see some raised eyebrows. Definitely gone with this one without a doubt. Woo. It's really good. Carly, that's nice. Thank you. This is Carly's roll right here. She got a little oh, drop of sriracha, yeah. some mayonnaise. Tell anybody. Awesome. All these guys are getting very competitive with their sushi rolls. It's basically who can find the most interesting ingredients and put on their roll. <laughs> I know, guys. Brooks is looking pretty good. Got a dot in the corner. No, how are you going crisscross? Whoa. Like I'm way ahead of you. Make sure you get the right flow. Oh, you're doing dots. Ah, fire. Mm. There you go. Should we like sprinkle scallions? Whoa. There goes the wahoo log into the sesame oil. 30 seconds on each side, give or take. So all Mike's doing is we just want to sear it. So literally just two millimeters, one millimeter of the outside cooked and that's it. And then you want the middle to be completely raw. 
Harley's gonna show you guys how to make her sushi bowls. So you can kind of use whatever meat you have on hand. Last time I did it, I used very thin sliced tuna and I rolled it in the palm of my hand like this on a piece of saran wrap. You kind of just take your wet hand and pat all around it so the rice won't stick to it. So then you grab just a tiny bit of rice, put Nicole, your rice just like that. It doesn't matter what it looks like because it's all in how you wrap it. Kind of go like this. I've never even seen this done. So then kind of just do this. I like to give it a couple of twists just so it stays really packed in together. And boom! No way. You got a sushi ball. Very cool. This is how good our sushi night is that everyone has to document it. <laughs> it's on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. You guys, how good does this look? This is this is like better than restaurant quality right here. Got like three hundred dollars worth of sushi on the table right now. Mm. Easily. So break down that eel sauce. Look at how thick it is. Just like in a restaurant. All right, guys. As you see, our table is completely empty. It was fire, it was to die for, and it goes to show you that a group of guys like ourselves, we've never high-speed Wahoo troll before, and we did it. We have made sushi before, but it goes to show you that you can make it's some better, really... better every time. Yeah, better every time. You guys can make some really good stuff on your own. You don't have to go to a restaurant. And it's easy as watching a YouTube video. And Mike's made sushi night plenty of times before, and it just gets better and better. Yep, you learn more and more every time. Yeah, and you just build upon it. I mean, how creative is that little... Wahoo Sushi Rose in the middle there. And so now Brooke and I know some secrets for our next sushi <laughs> night. Oh yeah. Raj Dad, what'd you think? I think I'm pretty full. I'm very satisfied. I think we ended the trip pretty well after this dinner. So if you guys like this video, want to see more like it, make sure you hit that like button. Send it to that like button. Comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.